hello and welcome to this beautiful channel my name is toby lee and welcome to toby lee talks so today we have got quite a bit to discuss okay we are discussing sonia booth and matthew booth and matthew booth's alleged side piece bongani miller okay let's try and keep up let's try and keep up okay so sonia booth wife of matthew booth decided that she is gonna air her husband's dirty laundry on instagram the other day and when i tell you that we like i went down a rabbit hole like i was so invested in the whole story i was so invested in everything that was happening i was feeling so bad um for sonia and then i was feeling a little bit bad for bongani but then like I don't know like after seeing the pictures that she's been posting of matthew booth i'm like yo girl girl it's a little bit too comfortable hey like she was posting some really really hectic pictures and like i just asked myself Jorge, how do you post so many pictures of somebody's husband like i really think that a girl was just being a little too much maybe she was in love okay so like this is not a side chick guys this is like a side lover i feel like these two bongani and matthew i really think that they were having a i think it's my opinion it's alleged i think their relationship was actually quite hectic and i think it was going on for quite a long time um south africa is a movie we live in a drama it's a series every day you will be shocked by something new yesterday then she started the whole expose thing and then she posted a video of michael booth in an interview and it was valentine's day and he 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 said something along the lines of it's always valentine's day in the booth household and then so after this interview after this interview that he had on valentine's day he went and picked up his lover from her house so she's getting this information from the tracker and then she also posted um, they spent that night in Pulukwane and the following day he dropped her off at her house. I bet it was bliss because Matthew arrived home with an exquisitely wrapped gift box. One of the perfumes being guilty. A wicked sense of humor Bungani Mela has. So they spent that night together and then he came back the next day and he had he got a gift of like a gucci perfume and it was wrapped nicely and like ironically enough <laughs> she buys him guilty by gucci gucci guilty because they were feeling guilty <laughs> were they though were they yeah okay i think they were feeling guilty because what on earth like i don't get it so the next post that she had was like um, I think it's a bank statement. It's a bank statement that shows like his transactions on the 10th of July. On the 10th of July. So she says, Sunday, 10 July. Um, Matthew Booth leaves the house in the morning, stops by to buy flowers and goes to Bongani Miller's house. The bank statement shows fishmonger lunch was also enjoyed. By the way, I lunch, yakona, yaga, Matthew, Bongan. Their lunch was 1,714 rands. Okay. Um, he got home in the evening after spent the entire day there. Next post um, was, she's talking now about the 4th of August. So it was the 10th of July and now that's the 4th of August. Um, Matthew picks up Bongani Miller in my car and they travel to Mpangeni, a seven hour drive. They spent three nights there. This is supposed to be um, at the Booth, Booth Trust Initiative. If she went with him to suss out future collaborations, donations, or initiatives for um, at Royal, I think it's one of the companies, then how come she hasn't been introduced to me considering I'm a co-founder, trustee, and director of the trust? Besides, the trust website has our past initiatives for anyone to peruse over. Moreover, she could have sussed out from initiatives uh, scheduled in Johannesburg so you know this is where actually this whole thing starts irritating me so much because it's like the disrespect for you to take your wife's car go pick up your side piece 
and go spend three nights with your side piece on a work getaway in a business that your wife is a director in or a, a whatever a director of trustees or so i'm guessing it's like it's their family business because it's at the booth trust so it's their family business where does this girl now like where does she enter this thing for her to even go on a three night stay and yazini oh. so she told bongani if this man misses our son's 18th birthday then i'm gonna go to social media okay and bongani was like watch me i'm not gonna stop <laughs> okay so then she puts this post up i'll put it up here and she says i was livid at first that my car was used for the empangeni trip but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because my car app shows the exact address my research revealed her identity i then found her husband emailed him what i had at the time he later called me over 19 minutes a telephone conversation breaking down her patterns and her history so then this is where she finds out that actually um this is not that this is not bongani's first time um cheating on him and she's got patterns patterns and unama history bongani bongani come and apologize please yo now this is too much allegedly allegedly when are you you are busy with people's husbands oh I, okay and then the next one after that says he felt um that what i shared via email justified our meeting we had coffee this morning and he gave his blessing for me to do this because he doesn't know what else to do he tried different approaches over the last 10 years as for matthew booth he is untouchable he is a legend after all that's what she says and it's quite sad it's quite sad it's so sad and then um her last thread on that one is a picture of her and bongani miller's husband and they're having coffee and they're talking about their cheating spouses and bed bed see now things become interesting because then the cheesecake drama <laughs> the cheesecake drama starts right and i love this girl like i love sonia like i need sonia to have a show or something like i need this pettiness in my life i need to see i need to see more petty women <laughs> on, on on tv like she needs a show so anyways she says the cheesecake <laughs> like that's that's the that's the post on instagram the cheesecake she goes on to goes on to say two weeks ago i noticed cheesecake ingredients in the fridge and the boys got excited on the 3rd of november the eve of nate's birthday matthew bakes at night i was fast asleep already in the morning, we all got excited, salivating over the cheesecake, thinking it's for Nate's birthday. Imagine our shock and surprise when it disappeared from our fridge. The entire cake, not even a taste, nor three slices nyana for me, N and N. I'm guessing those are the children's names. We laughed and felt sorry for ourselves. <laughs> like, I'm not laughing. Like, like, but like I don't I like I don't understand this man. Oh, but see, what kind of cheating is this one? So he baked a cake in the home that he shares with his wife and his children on the eve of his child's birthday. And the poor kids wake up and there's no cake. E cake ile was I chick. Ah man. No. No, I don't get it. I saw someone actually said why didn't you just bake two cheesecakes? But that's my chat. Like, why didn't you just... Oh, why didn't you just buy one? That's why I'm like, this is so deep. Like, he really, really felt, you know what? I need to bake a cake for my girl. And I'm going to bake it from scratch. And I'm going to deliver it. 
And then as if his disrespect cannot get any deeper, he takes her Tupperware container and puts the cake inside her, his wife's mother's Tupperware container and he takes it to his side piece. His side piece takes that same cake, gives it to her husband. Yo, guys. <laughs> she gives it to her husband because then um, Sonia revealed that she she asked um she asked the husband Jorge, did you guys perhaps have some cheesecake and the husband was like it was so delicious like yeah there was cheesecake and it was exquisite <laughs> hey guys i want to bongani and matthew ani le ani koswan koswani because what the hell what Anyways, I'll give my opinion. Actually, let me just give my opinion now. I just don't understand why why these two people, if they love each other so much, why couldn't they just sit down with their uh, respective partners and she tells Mr. Miller, listen here, Mr. Miller, I'm so in love with Matthew and Matthew is so in love with me and you know what? I don't want this relationship anymore. And he could go to Sonia as well and sit her down and have a, like, ask for a divorce and whatever. And then they can be together. Like, come Nandi, there's no, like, there's no need for him to run the cheesecake and run the cheesecake and run the cheesecake and run the cheesecake and run the cheesecake. The next thing, the cheesecake is gone. Ay, bo. The next thing, only I know she takes the cheesecake, she gives it to the husband. Yo, guys, here, yeah. Oh, dangerous. So let's just wrap it up with Sonia going to fetch her Tupperware at um at Bongani Miller's home. And when she comes back home, she puts the Tupperware in the garage where Matthew is supposed to park so that he knows Hore. Yiben Basa Basta. Busted. Anyways, not bu busted, busted, busted. Bu he's a busted Nyanji. So anyways, yeah, you know, the thing that really, the thing that really bothered me the most with this whole thing is I understand that Sonia is upset. I really understand it's so upsetting. Like upset is an understatement. Like this is, um, this is a betrayal. It's so many lies. It's so many you know, I hated Umuntu Magatulanga my resources was in Gini. Like I really hate that. Like you're gonna be with your side chick and then your side chick is involved in the family business and your side chick is has my tupperwares and your side chick is in my car and your side chick is Jay like it's too much. It's too much. So I really understand Woody Sonia must have been in like a really, really crappy predicament and a crappy space of mind when all of this was happening and then you go to bongani miller's page and the girl is flaunting that woman's husband like nobody's business like she is posting that man like there is no tomorrow she is groping she is hugging she is holding she is squeezing she is yay yay like she's doing the most she like she loves that man okay you can't tell me she don't love that man it's too much it's too much so one thing that saddens me about this whole thing is that now there are two marriages that have broken apart because of these two individuals that decided that they want to sneak around and be together and bongani's husband must be so humiliated on that side so sonia is so humiliated on this side and the saddest part is that these people have children and like sonia was saying her, her kids are like 18 like those kids are old enough to see everything that's going on and it's really sad it's really sad. It's bad enough that your parents break up. It's bad enough that your parents get a divorce. It's bad enough that your father cheats or your father cheated. It's bad enough that your mom cheated. That's bad enough. But about this whole social media frenzy, it cannot be easy on the kids. And if these kids are old enough, they're probably on social media. They're probably um, consuming all this content as well. Um, I... I'm hoping they don't get bullied because of this. They will definitely need therapy. Therapy they will need after this. But that's the sad thing. Sometimes 
parents try to keep it together for their kids but at the end of the day parents are also people with their own mental health um issues that they need to work through and sometimes life life is life sometimes you just need to have a mental breakdown sometimes you need to be petty sometimes you need to go to the side chick's house and fetch your mom's tap away you it happens no judgment but i really feel so bad for those kids i feel so bad but anyways yeah that's it that is the story that's um matthew booth versus tapawe cheesecake pongani miller versus sonia miller like Bongani Miller also, like, she posted just now, actually, before I started recording this, she posted on her Instagram, she's unbothered, she's at Virgin Active. Tuesday, beautiful day for a spinning session, right? Set the tone for the day, no excuses. Healthy body, healthy mind, healthy heart. No matter the circumstances, let's keep it moving. And, um, one, two... Morning, location Sila. I am loving Virgin Active's new campaign. So, we are the ones who dare. We're the ones who dare to live, the ones who dare to move, the ones who dare to carry on under difficult circumstances. We are the ones who dare. So, dare and uh, keep it moving. Get to a Virgin Active near you today. Um, have a beautiful day. And so, now it is on to, you know it, the next. <laughs> girl is working out the girl is like dare to live your dream we dare to live our lives what are you doing <laughs> we need a public apology when you're out here working out we are anyways thank you so much for watching if you made it this far please like comment subscribe share show me some love I love you guys. Bye.